Hey resellers, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm going to be answering a question that I have seen repeatedly over this death pile listing, um, turning my death pile into a car challenge. And that is, how in the world do you list 50 items a day? Like what are your tips and tricks to listing quickly, efficiently, staying on task, listing despite being a work from home mom? Um, how is it that you get 50 listings done in a day? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. I know it's information that I feel like every reseller can use. So sit tight, here we go. Before we talk about tips and tricks on listing efficiently, let's talk about the numbers for this challenge so far and how things are going. I seem to be staying pretty average on track, about seven sales a day right now, which again, seven sales a day every single day is not average for me. You'll see that in my numbers. I'm gonna I continue to be very transparent with you guys and show you directly my numbers from July 22nd when all of this started until now. Um, things are still looking just as just as awesome as they were last week despite a few slow days which I I did see a lot of people in the community talking about those slow days. I was to be honest with you semi quick to click off of that because I don't want to wallow in that and I always want to think that there's something better to be striving for and reaching for and I feel like if we blame eBay or if we blame the buyers or we blame the algorithm then we take the control right out of our hands. And I'm a numbers person, I'm a control person. I I want to think that if I work hard enough and if I list enough, I can absolutely do this. A summer slowdown who? A summer slowdown what? While I'm waiting on my computer to boot up, I want to continue the transparency and just tell you guys that this past week and these past two weeks have been challenging to say the least. I do have two children and a lot of responsibilities around our home. And you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to find time to do 50 listings. So that's why we're talking today about how you find that time, how you fit in the time and all of, again, my tips and tricks. So um, a many, nights though has meant me staying up until one and two o'clock in the morning. You may be an early riser and prefer to get up at four or five in the morning. Whichever way it is, uh, whatever works for you works for you. You're getting some work done while other people are sleeping. And so um, that is my number one tip I would say as a parent is to work when your kids are sleeping because I, I will tell you without a shadow of a doubt if they're awake they're going to be needing something from you. That's not a fault, that's their job, their kids, and it's your job as their parent to meet those needs. So don't think that you'll be able to press every need that they have to the back burner and just be laser focused while they're awake. Understand that you're gonna have to get some work done while they're asleep. All right guys, so I had the report generating from July 22nd to uh, yesterday actually, which was August 4th. Let's see what the numbers look like. It looks like in that amount of time I've sold $2,465.77 and let's see, eBay is collecting a bunch and charging me a bunch and that is netting me about $1,544.38 over a two week period. During that time period, that two week period, I have sold 79 items, which I feel like is, is pretty good. That is an average of 5.6 items per day. Um, most days I am staying right at seven items a day, but like yesterday I sold two items. Um, but you know, maybe today I will sell above that seven and more than make up for yesterday. My average sales price is up to $31.21, which is fantastic. Let's just see at $31.21 what my average payout is per item. Okay, now every item is gonna be a little bit different, but $31.27 uh, times 0.87 would be deducting 13% eBay fees is $27.20. And let's just say the average item costing $9 to ship. Uh, I don't know, I feel like that's, that's a little high because I sell a lot of first class merchandise. So let's say the average item is $6 to ship. So it looks like my average proceeds is staying pretty pretty solid around $21 and 20 cents. Let's see if that's true by taking the net sales and dividing it uh, by the quantity sold. 
Okay, okay, okay. My average uh, net is actually 1954 if we look at it that way. So I'm holding pretty solid around $20 an item. Uh, well, that's $15,000 divided by $20 an item. I need 750 sales to reach this. 750 sales, you guys. I can totally do that. So when I first started this challenge, I think I was just shy of a thousand, like somewhere in the 900s on listings. And currently I'm sitting at 1,288 listings, even considering all of the items that I've sold. So guys, I have really been working my tail off listing these items. And um, although I'm showing you a lot of tips and tricks today, let it be known that the biggest tip and trick is to be willing to put in a lot of hard work. I'm going to show you how I list quickly and efficiently and um, just tell you how to power through. But at the end of the day, like it's up to you to really truly be not motivated, but disciplined enough to list every single day. We talk a lot about motivation and motivation may get you started, um, especially on a challenge, but discipline is what's going to see you through. Discipline is that thing that's going to tell you like you didn't come this far to only come this far. I'll warn you guys in advance that some of these tips are going to seem kind of small, maybe things that you can just, you know, toss to the side, but I'm telling you that it is the small little things, the daily habits that we have that add up to really big results. So just trust me, the person that's been listing 50 items a day for the past two weeks, and I, I challenge you right now that if you put together every single one of the tips that I'm going to give you, every tip, don't leave out the little stuff and you aren't more productive in your listing or more consistent in your listing, then I'll give you your money back. Money back from watching this video, all right? There's a money back guarantee for you. But seriously, these, these tips add up to big change. My first tip is going to be to clean up your workspace. Well, nobody wants to work in a space like this. While I aim at cleaning up my mess before I go to bed at night. Last night was an especially late night. I didn't really get started listing until 9.30. So by the time I got done, all of these things lay here for me the next morning. Uh, no regret like tomorrow's self looking back at yesterday thinking, why didn't you take care of this? And again, I'm going to list so much more efficiently in a clean space. So let's get this cleaned up. All right, that looks a lot better and this looks like a space I could be productive in. Another tip I would have for you is to grab some water. Stay hydrated, friends. That's gonna give you energy to work throughout the day. Grab your coffee, your energy drink, your pre-workout, whatever it is, or some good old-fashioned water and have that sitting here with you. I don't recommend snacking while you're listing because, you know, Dorito fingers all over plush, not such a good thing. And then also, I feel like if I'm down here listing maybe six hours a day, that's a lot of mindless snacks snacking. Health is wealth. Find yourself a comfy seat. Now, I'm not going to claim that this is the most comfortable thing that I've ever sat on. After so many hours, it just downright any seat is not going to work. But this thing is pretty unique because you can sit on it in a variety of different ways. I got this from uh, kind of like an Amazon return store several years ago. And I want to show you what's different about this versus other chairs. So this chair is definitely unique to say the least. You could sit in it just like a regular chair with your feet a little bit spread out, or you can bring your feet up and sit in really honestly a more natural position and get your listings done. Or my absolute favorite, because this offers very little, if any, lumbar or spine support. So after a while, you're going to feel the pressure in your back from sitting like this. You can bring your feet down or your knees down rather to this padding and the pressure is now on my knees and I'm able to uh, to just totally change up the weight of my body um, because guys I'm gonna I'm showing you how to list efficiently and how to list quickly but it's not gonna happen in five minutes you're gonna be sitting for hours if you want to list 50 items a day hashtag not sponsored okay get ready because this is the single most invaluable tip I'm going to give you about how to list 50 items a day 25 items a day 10 items a day whatever your goal is this is in my eyes the most valuable one and that is make a pile it seems simple enough but there's something about that visual goal that triggers something in our brains and um, in my mind anyway and I hopefully in yours just triggers that response that it's not over until it's over I am not done until this pile is gone so right now I'm gonna pull out 50 items I'm gonna lay them on this table back behind me I already have a few items here car parts today um, so I'm gonna add to that until I have 50 items 
So here it is then, my pile of 50 items. It doesn't really look that scary, does it? But if I were to sit down next to this tub, next to this tote and say, I'm not gonna stop until I have 50 items listed, what are the chances I'm actually going to stay on task until 50 items, I may lose count, tons of things can happen. Um, but if I see this pile right here, and I know my job over the next hour is to draft these 50 items, can I get it done in an hour? Can I get it done in an hour and a half? You know, whatever your goal is, whatever is manageable for you, and I have my water, and I have my comfy chair and I, you know I use my tablet and it'll be playing right over here one of you guys videos I'm sure drop your link below if you want me to check out your channel while I'm listing my 50 items but this is an immeasurable tip I'm telling you if you haven't tried it it doesn't seem like much but it is a game changer all right this is this is something that will change your daily listing goal you know imagine having your 10 items right out in front of you and knowing that you're not gonna stop until those 10 items are drafted and I process the items so they just get drafted over here they get moved a little further down and then my uh, photography setup is actually over here so I'll put my board back up um, so I'll take all the pictures over here and then the items will go into a tote to be put away that's what I was doing earlier before I could list um, so everything is like in stations and if not for a clean office you cannot have workstations like this so another tip I have for you on a clean workstation would be imagine that you are employed by someone else and you work in the space that you currently work in today. Would you consider that they had you working in uh, poor conditions? What would you think about the working conditions they had you working in? Would you think that the space was clean and clear and productive? Or would you think, how do they want me to get any work done in this pigsty? They should pick it up. If you wouldn't expect to work for someone else in the conditions that you're currently asking yourself to work in, what are you even doing? This is why I say at the end of every single video, treat your business like your business. This is not a hobby. This is not a side hustle unless you treat it like one. It is a business, again, if you treat it like one. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Whatever you say about your business is true. So start believing that this is your viable business, your business owner, you're the boss, and pick up your space. The same could be true even on the flip side. Imagine if you had an employee, would you invite them into your space to work as it is? If you wouldn't invite someone else to work with you in the condition of your office, guys, I can tell you, stop thinking that you're not worth what you think other people are worth. Stop downgrading your value. If you think someone else is more valuable and they deserve a better space to work in, I'm telling you today, you deserve a better space to work in. Stop what you're doing, go clean up your space. It's time to be productive. Okay, got my eBay app open, got my water, and I'm actually watching Baldy Pal and um, his live with the five resellers. Shout out to all three of them. And uh, I'm gonna be on Baldy Pal's channel on August 18th. You guys definitely head over there and subscribe. I'll link it in the description. Um, head over there and subscribe and then show up on August 18th in the chat so that we can all talk and have a good time on the live over there. Let's get these 50 things listed. You're a full-time reseller, and if you're not, you're aiming at it. You should know that this Ann Taylor top, you should know what this is worth when you pick it up. Probably wasn't my best pickup, but I'm gonna list it for $14.99, free shipping. Now, something like, this is a formal gown here from Nordstrom's, and it's a kind of a pricey brand. So am I gonna look this up? Absolutely. This item will take a little bit more time, but the majority of these items, I'm going straight into, I'm not gonna sell similar. And yeah keywords and I'm gonna type in Ann Taylor floral button-up blouse sheer size such and such and I always lead with um, the brand and the size immediately so for the majority of these clothes I'm just gonna pull up the app here and I'm going to start inputting the listing I'm not gonna sell similar I'm going to create a new listing and I always lead with the brand followed by the size followed by all of my keywords so I'm gonna say Ann Taylor, don't waste um, keyword space on the word women's. Like, it's clear as day this isn't a men's top. So, I'm going to write Ann Taylor, size 6, floral, sheer, button up, down, because some people search button up, some people search button down, blouse, long sleeve, work, church, if you have extra space there, but always brand, followed by size, followed by every keyword, roses, pink, um, pockets, I can think of lots of keywords for this. So I'm going to input that. It's going to pull up the listing for me. The very first thing you want to do when you pull up the listing, well, let's just get to that spot. Okay, so here's the title I ended up going with. Ann Taylor, size 6, floral, sheer, button up, down, long sleeve, blouse, dress shirt. I'm 74 out of 80 characters, and that was without really looking. You're going to get such a feel for what 80 characters really feels like. 
So before you do any item specifics, I'm going to tell you a huge time saver because there's a, a big opportunity that you may have to change all of this. Before you do any of that, like these two should be flip-flopped. Go down to category and make sure you're in the right category. I don't know how many times I've went through listings and then you fill out your item specifics and come down here and the category is wrong. It might say men's, it might say children's. You change it and all of this goes away. So the very first thing you should do outside of your title and selecting new or used is to make sure your category is right. And then I go up here and I'm going to put the size type is a regular and weight and the size is what size did we say a size six this is a numbered size blouse um and the color uh, should i say pink or should i say multicolor? we'll say multicolor. okay here are my required item specifics and i'm going to tell you i don't usually come down here to recommend it it's very seldom that i'll come down here to recommend it i back right out of this and here are um my category is right my description is right and then so let me show you a little shortcut here. I used to spend a lot of time um, dictating these really flowery descriptions into like text to speech. And let me just tell you, buyers do not read this. Let me show you what I do now instead. And I'm selling plenty of items. This is going to seem a little too simple for some of you. You know, take the advice that you want to take. This is my best advice. I'm going to hold down here and paste. And this is what is copied permanently in my clipboard. Ships fast. Please see all photos. Thanks and God bless. The buyers are not even reading this description. Put something in there. It has my title, which is pre-populated. And I copy and paste that into every single description. I'm going to go down here and I am going to select the item. No, I don't want it at a seven day auction. We already said it's going to be $14.99 with free shipping. As most of these items are going to be um now if you want offers turn on offers i have offers on most items because i'm trying to sell things and we're going to select free shipping this is probably going to be about four ounces back out of here donate to charity always 10 percent. my tithes go to samaritan's purse and look at that how long did it take us to list this blouse? Now it's not totally listed yet, it's drafted. I'm gonna do that same process. I'm gonna repeat that 49 more times and then all of these items are gonna get photographed. Now you might be saying, Rachel, if that is your description, where are your measurements? Here are my measurements. When I go to photograph this item, I photograph pit to pit and then I'm gonna photograph from the shoulder down to the bottom of the shirt. They are in every listing that I have and while this does add an extra step to photography, it takes out so many steps because so many folks I know, so many resellers I know, um, measurements are an actual another station in their batch listing. They measure, then they write that down and then finally transpose uh, that over into the listing. While, you're, while you have the item out to photograph, just lay it out flat, take a picture with the measurement it cuts down on any confusion as far as exactly where you measured. Folks know exactly what they're getting here because when you say 17 inch bust, some people may think you mean 17 inches around. Other resellers, you know, just people that don't sell clothes may think that's what you mean. So this shows them that laying flat, this item measures 19 and a half inches across. This is a huge time saver. At the end of the day, you guys, there's no magic sauce to listing quickly. I'm not doing anything that is special that you can't be doing. Um, everything that I bring to my store, I promise you have the potential to bring to your store. Even if you don't resell, just follow along with the videos. There's so much free education on YouTube and you can do this. You can do the exact same thing. You can make $1,000 a week at home with your kids. You can buy a car with cash from cashing in all of the things that you bought basically with spare change. Guys, this can be your business and not your hobby. This can be your life, but the number one tip that I have for you is to do it, to get up and make yourself do it. If it's at the end of the day and you still have not done your listings and it's 930 as it was for me last night, then guess what? No excuses. Get it done. Because at the end of the day, the algorithm's going to know if you skipped a day and that just sucks. There's no other way to explain it, but that just, it's awful because all of that hard work can be washed away in a day or two of making excuses. Get up and get it done and get motivated. And guys, let's head into week three of this cashing in my death pile for a car. I'm so excited about this and I can't wait to see uh, where week three takes me. A lot of big things um, coming up in the next week. So we'll see exactly what happens can't wait to give you guys an update thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far put a car emoji down in the comments god bless you guys thank you again and remember treat your business like your business